Today we're going to do something a little different than what we've done on the channel in the past. We're going to be taking you guys out on a scouting mission. This mission is going to be in an old coal mining town in central Alabama. We're going to be next to a railroad track that's abandoned where I have mapped out a creek that is running parallel with it. Hopefully this creek is going to house some valuable antique bottles, but you never know what's going to be there. So without any further ado, let's go see what we can find. This is the stuff that we don't typically show you, which is scouting. It is incredibly hot today. The spiders are out in full force and I'm walking this small creek that you see right here to see if there's any bottles in it. So far, there's been a ton of glass, but the oldest piece that I've seen is from the 1930s. So we're looking to get about 40 years older. I'm gonna follow the creek on up and see what we can find. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but this spider right here, I call them crab spiders. I don't know what they are, but they are everywhere in the woods right now. And every time I make a turn, it seems like I'm catching one right in my face. You can see him. He's crawling just a little bit. I'm having a really hard time getting my camera to focus on him. I don't think that they're poisonous or anything like that. But we're going to leave this guy being. I'm going to walk around this web instead of eating it. <laughs> Looks like there's a train car derailed on this abandoned railroad track right here. Wow. Guess they decided to abandon it. Holy cow, guys, that's crazy. Getting out of the creek and getting sidetracked, but that's kind of half the fun of the adventure. You see stuff like this. That is nuts, guys. I wonder why they left it behind. If the track itself gave out or if the car itself just fell off the tracks. I'm gonna go up here and see. Looks like it may have been loaded. Let's look up inside of it and see if it is loaded. That might be why they left it was because it was so hard to uh, actually pick it back up or unload it. Looks like it had a half a load anyways. That's crazy. That is crazy. Definitely been here a while though. You can tell by the trees growing up around it. 30 or 40 years would be my guess. And the railroad tracks are all but gone. All right, we got a couple of things right here. First of which is going to be a piece to what looks like a White House vinegar. And then right here is the weirdest little cream jar. Nice little bitty cream jar, guys. We'll take that. This little creek is very, very dense. I have to move slowly to make sure I don't stand on any snakes. Got another little one right here. It looks like it's going to be a shoe polish. Yep. Got a big flash crack all the way down right there. More than likely, though, that's exactly what that was. We will take it. It is a cork top, and we are still on the right trail. That's a good sign. Another cork top piece. Those cream jars could be anywhere from 30s to 50s, but... When I see a top like this one right here, I'm thinking more like pre-1920, and that makes me feel better. So the further I go, it seems like it's getting a little bit older. So fingers crossed, there'll be something whole up here. And just like that, the rain is upon us. Gotta love Alabama in the summer. But here's a button that I just spotted. And wow, it is gonna come down on us, guys. This sucks. I'm too far to worry about it because I'm going to be soaked regardless even if I try to get back to the truck. <laughs> the rain stopped and right in the middle of the woods was a machete. Hopefully it's not a murder weapon, but I'm taking it out because I'm going to probably need it to clear a trail. <laughs> a little screw top. Phillips Milk of Magnesia. Not quite as old as what we want, but it is a keeper. It's a beautiful cobalt blue. Almost that flower, that cornflower blue. It's a little bit lighter. So, it's a keeper. This entire bank was loaded with glass down through here, most of it being pretty modern. I walked the creek in and decided to walk the bank back and make sure I didn't miss a old dump spot. 
All right, I moved downstream a little bit and the glass seems like it's holding up better here. Here's an RC Cola. This would have been ACL. You can see down there where it says property of knee high bottling. Not quite as old as what we would like, but it's definitely a keeper. If you look right here though, the glass is picking up everywhere. And I think I see a cork top flask literally exposed right there. So the top's broken off, but I'm gonna go see what it is in just a second. So this whole bank is collapsing and hopefully we're gonna get on something pretty cool here in the next few minutes. Check it out. First marble of the day there. Heck yeah, we'll take that. Hopefully that's a sign as to what's to come in this new stretch of the creek. Look at this, guys. I don't know what that's gonna be. It's definitely got some deco styling going on to it. Oh, it's slick. I have no idea what that was. Hmm. Looks like it had a date code of 1926 on the bottom. That gum, of course it's gonna survive and not be embossed. <laughs> That's okay. At least the bottles are surviving here. In the other spot, it was all just shards, it seemed like. This makes my fourth Wylam brick of the day. I've seen quite a few of these. I think that they were used to build culverts that would go underneath of the railroad track. Because I find them as soon as I get close to these now redone culverts. Got an ACL right here. Uh, that's a Bessemer, Alabama. It appears to be a Bessemer bottling works. I can barely make it out. Dang, I wish the ACL would have been in better shape on that one. That would have been a cool one to have. Looks like I got a Moraline. Yep. Moraline. Little jar. We usually find these in these ditches like this a good bit. I believe this was a competitor to Vaseline. And that's okay. We will take it. This is a really good example of why you're not always looking in the bottom of the creeks. You want to look up, and I've said this before, but you want to look at these root balls. Because when a tree falls over, it exposes bottles and what's been beneath it. If you take a look right here, this is a lot of Dura glass. So we're talking probably 1940s or 50s stuff that we're looking at. So not quite as old as what we want right along this bank. Which makes me think that we need to move to another section yet again. So let's go see if we can get into some older stuff out not quite as old as like the hemming ray insulators but these things are monstrous you can see how big it is compared to my hand absolutely massive everything's matching the age of the glass so as mentioned time to change areas guys this rain in alabama the last two weeks has been killing me and my adventures i'm used to having just a couple days to be able to film and it seems like the days that I'm filming when I'm not working has been just an abundance of rain. I'm talking about three or four inches in an hour sometimes. It's making the creeks where I can't get into them. It's making it where I can't dig. And that's why I decided that scouting missions were the best way to spend my time during this weather. And hopefully we can find some new sites for this winter. I'm trying to get the lay of the land right now. I have actually wandered off a pretty good ways from the railroad tracks, which was my guide at the time. And right now, I'm just kind of winging it. Sometimes that's when I do my best. See a piece of trash or something over here. I don't know what this is. Looks like a Dollar General bag. Well, that doesn't belong out here. We'll take that out and go throw it out. Hopefully, we'll find something pretty cool before the lightning starts. We are supposed to get some pretty bad thunderstorms here shortly. Guys, can't tell. I'm inside of a building right now, and the rain is just throwing down right now. We have had absolutely torrential rainfall yet again. This should be good for the creeks. That should mean that within the next couple weeks, if the water levels ever come back down, that we should be able to find something amazing. But it has really dampened, uh, yeah, pun intended there, our ability to be able to dig in this stuff. The mud is not ideal. It makes it very hard, it's heavy, and it makes it harder to spot the small relics whenever you're digging in this kind of weather. So we've kind of all but put that on pause till the fall. We're gonna do the best we can 
to do some shallow digging and a whole lot of creeks between now and when the weather cools down. With that being said, we've been getting a ton of questions from people wanting to know about how we find our dig sites, how we find our creeks, all that kind of stuff. We do have a whole list of how-to videos. I'm going to do my best to actually build a playlist and put those how-to videos into it uh, just for you guys that may be new to the channel. Uh, if I get that done before this video goes up, I'll be sure to put the playlist and pin it in a comment down below. With that being said, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what we did today, even though we didn't find a ton, be sure that you're subscribed because most of the time we do find some cool stuff. Today was kind of the exception. We'll see you guys in the next adventure.